Craig's Bulldogs. I'm Sophia. And I'm Addie. Today's Tuesday, April 27, 2021. Today is going to be a great day at Briggs. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence. Fully the pledge. I promise to be safe and respectful to everyone and help our school remain fully free. You may now have a seat. There are no birthdays today. Readers write and writers read challenge. During the month of April, students will use the books they have read during the, during the March Madness Challenge or books they read and enjoy during April to create graphic organizers and pre-reads for the Compare and Contrast May essay. Students can write and turn in as many graphic organizers and pre-reads as they would like. These will be counted and given back to the students. First through second grade students will continue reading and testing and writing book reviews to earn points. Third through sixth grade students will continue reading and testing but will complete graphic organizers and pre-writes to earn extra points and prepare for their May essay. Graphic organizers, five points. You must have two points per section. Pre-write outline, ten points. You must follow the BRICS pre-write template. For those rising seventh and eighth grade students, stay informed on the latest announcements, news, etc by joining the 2021 Sneed Volleyball Group in the Google Classroom. To join the group, go to the Google Classroom and enter the following code. C-V-U-E-Q-6-H. Stay informed with the latest announcements, news, etc. by joining the Sneed Football Group in Google Classroom. To join the group, go to the Google Classroom and enter the following code. L-S-D-C-B-Q-C. Hey, Miss Knight, what's your favorite part about your job? My favorite part of my job is that I get to work with students and teachers every day, helping them with technology and coming up with new things and new ideas for you guys to do in class to learn. What type of teacher are you and why do you comment? I am a curriculum technology coach. Um, the reason I became this is I wanted to work with students, not just within my class, but with the whole school. <clears throat> What's the hardest part about your job? The hardest part about my job is how technology changes so much from year to year and having to learn new things on my own um, so that then I can teach the teachers on how to use this product in your classroom with you guys. So like for example, next year we're getting a new ELA textbook. So I have to learn all of the online tools for that new textbook by myself to teach the teachers. What, what, what was your dream job when you were a lot younger? My dream job when I was younger, I wanted to be a physical therapist or an athletic trainer. So I wanted to work with people and teach them either how to walk again or if they had an injury, how to overcome that and better themselves. So I stepped into a classroom for the first time in college and took an education course and decided from that point on, instead of working with children and adults in athletics, I wanted to work with them in a classroom instead. Any other questions for me? No, not today. Well, thank you so much for inviting me over for the interview. I appreciate it. Hey, Bye!